there's no wind so I really should get going but first coffee it's actually quite hard to find proper Turkish coffee in the small town so I've got cappuccino yeah so fancy there's still water in the well but I'm glad I brought enough started already sadly it's not too bad uh, it's another 60 k today but I have a little village halfway that I can rest in during the hotter part of the day hopefully this whirlwind thing smashed right through me left to right nearly knocked me off my bike energy one thank you so much what a dude merci on my fun downhill into the village better than losing a spoke which I don't know how to check them apart from giving them a ping they seem okay oh dear I should have studied harder doesn't matter this one's locked anyway so I guess I'm whatever this says the road's turned north so I'm into the wind this way but I'm about to double back onto this road here, right before the mountains, and hopefully the wind will be behind me then. case to Nardushan and unlike yesterday I'm in no rush for this ride to end. Cyclists that recommended this route to me also recommended this guest house. Let's go back down there. It's literally a palace. Rasul tried very patiently to teach me some Persian music. Oh. oh. <laughs> He showed me the ancient and opaque marble slabs that let the light into the mosque below. We've climbed the minaret and it seriously wobbles when we move. It took me to a music school to hear Persian instruments played properly. <laughs>
an old hammam turned restaurant. And the town's surprisingly lush gardens. Before it was back to the castle for my favourite sunset spot. Many thanks to the musicians of Nardushan, full credits are in the notes.